Mabalik tayo dito sa Kababayan Today. Inibitahan tayo ni Jayco to check out Yo Garage. It's here in West Los Angeles, right on Barrington in between LaGrange and Mississippi. Yes. All right, so we're here. Yeah. And um, you're going to help us Kababayans do a couple of mo yoga moves um, that are basic that we can do at home. Okay, so let's get started. Okay. Well, okay. let's start in a forward fold. You're just gonna fold over as best as you can. Uh, you can take your hands, place them on your shins. If it's a little bit deep for you, you can bend your knees. That will make things a lot more comfortable. You wanna drop your head and kind of relax your neck. Good. And then just breathe in through your nose and out through your nose. Because a lot of people can't touch their toes. No, and it's this, not right? really... So, so even if you're here, yeah, that's even okay. Even here is great. And you don't have to worry about touching your toes. That's not the point. But the idea is to feel a stretch in your hamstrings, and if you're just here and you already feel the stretch, then that's where you want to be. Okay. Now you're going to feel a little stretch in your lower back as well. The most important thing to do is just relax though. See if you can drop your head and really relax. Now your weight, your head weighs about 15 pounds. So it will get pretty intense, especially if you're a little bit stiff. Again, feel free to bend your knees. That will make things a lot more comfortable. Okay? Now the first thing we're going to do is you're going to inhale. And you're going to reach your heart forward until your back is about parallel to the floor. Now you can't see it, but you should be able to feel all the muscles on either side of your spine active just a little bit. Yeah, this is a workout good. on its own, Jay. And then go ahead and exhale and just fold back over. And then breathe. Just breathe. Good. Same idea, you can take your flat back, you're going to reach it forward. And then you're going to rise up to standing. So you take your arms out and then reach them up overhead. You have a nice range of motion in your shoulders. Then we'll take your hands and just drop them into the center of your heart. Good. And with an inhale, you're going to reach back up. And with an exhale, we'll bring the hands back in the arm. This time, you're going to fold with a nice flat back. Again, back down. Again, you can feel free to bend, bend your knees. At the bottom, you just want to drop your head. Good. Inhale. Half. Exhale, fold back down. You know, rise, same thing, flat back all the way up. And then hands at the heart. So Jay, what are the benefits of being able to do that exercise? It looks like a very simple move, but if you really breathe into it, you can really feel your hamstrings uh, activate and I mean, if you do it with your breath, it could really be a workout. Yeah, it's pretty intense. And like we were talking about before, right? There's this kind of a gap between where people think their bodies are and where they actually are. And it's sometimes tough. A lot of the difficulty is just in the acceptance that your body's not where you think it's at. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. And you know, the real benefit of this isn't really in touching your toes. Obviously, circulation, circulation is really good for your body, right? Strength is good for your body. It's good for you to maintain a physical kind of health. but the bigger benefit is the ability to stay calm in the face of challenge, right? I mean, that's really practical to me. You know, and as far as this goes, you know, being able to bend over, if we're talking just on a pure physical sense, you know, you see a lot of the stuff, you know, people doing handstands and stuff, and that's all part of yoga. You know, I think that's a lot of fun. But just being able to bend over, I think, is really important, right? This is tying your shoes and picking up your kid. This is a lot of, to do with, you know, like, I fall and I can't get up, right? If you can touch your toes, chances are you fall. You'd probably be able to get up, right? That's right. just a really basic mobility. Mm -hmm. You know, you know back at home, right, people, a lot of times, like, uh, you know, in Southeast Asia, they don't, they don't have a lot of the back problems we do because they spend a lot of time on the floor just getting up and sitting back down. That's right. right. And we don't have that so much in the West, and I think, you know, a lot of us, even with the with the cultural heritage, like we're still not very used to sitting in chairs and we don't sit on the floor as much. And just even that as a basic exercise is really great for you. you know? So doing something like this, which is really simple, you know, really connecting to your breathing, getting the mental space of calmness. You know, the alleviation of stress is even just in the deep breathing is way more of a benefit mm -hmm. than the actual physical movement. Okay, so let's move on to our next movement. Okay, so if you, you know, once we get, we'll do the, that's what's called, uh, the first half of what's called a sun salutation, mm -hmm. right? So let's do the second half. Let's start from here, let's just fold back over. Okay. Right? And we'll take that inhale to reach the heart forward and elongate the spine. Right, from here, you're gonna step back into a push-up position. You want to see if you can keep the arms more or less straight, and then lift a little bit out of your torso, out of your chest, so that you feel like you're floating up out of the tops of the arms, and that'll take some of the weight out of the arms. 
Now, if this is tough, you can put your knees down. Okay. Right? And then from here, you're going to lower very slowly all the way down onto your chest. And again, you can do this on your knees if it's difficult. Okay, and then once you're on your belly, you're going to flip your toes to the back. Okay. You're going to inhale and peel your heart up. Good. You want to feel all the muscles in your upper back really active. And you're going to draw the shoulders back and down. And this is the kind of the opposite of slouching. This is all the muscles that get weak and stretched out from slouching all the time. So you're gonna give them a little squeeze. And then with an exhale, you're gonna do what's called down dog. So you're gonna tuck your toes, or, or let's even start here, just come up on hands and knees. And then tuck your toes and lift your knees. Good. And you're just making like an upside down V with your body. This can be really tough, partly because it's just very unusual if you're not already very comfortable with yoga. You can bend your knees just like you did in the forward fold. And you're looking to move your hips back. Good, and you feel stretched down the ribs and down the waist, right? You're gonna relax your neck and just breathe. And then we'll put the whole thing together. With an exhale, walk your feet all the way up between your hands. Good. You're gonna inhale half up. Exhale, fold down. Again, you can bend your knees. Right? Inhale all the way up. Reach up, extend in the waist, then hands in prayer. Good, inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold down. Inhale, glance. Arm forward, exhale, fold and step. And then lower, maybe on your knees. Over up. And then down dog. Right. And that's a complete... Um... That's complete sun salutation, okay. it's called. And just in doing these movements, you work most of the major muscles and most of the major muscle groups in your body, right? So it seems really simple, because it is really simple, right? But your body is not, it doesn't have to get terribly complicated, right? For maintenance purposes, right? Just for health purposes. Movement is good, breathing is good, right? That's Relaxation right. is good. Get started on your yoga journey. Thank you, Jay, for leading us in our practice Thank today. Thank you very much. If you want to get started on your yoga journey, please check out yogaraj.org. Maraming salamat, Jay, and we'll see you all again next time. Mm -hmm.